G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. You're looking at one of my tetragonular Hawking's Eye Hive and if you look down the bottom corner here, you'll see some bees scenting up the corner. And the reason I'm doing this video is what or how do you find a hive in the wild. I'm going to show you some tips. Now I've been asked to go out to a shopping centre or a row of shops at least and look at a hive but I haven't been told where the hive is. All I know is there's somewhere in these row of shops. So I'm going to take you live out there and show you the tips to look for to find a beehive. Once you learn these tips you'll probably find them everywhere. So here I am approaching the shops in question. I'm facing due south and you can hear the traffic so hopefully that my voice comes above this. So somewhere in here as I turn in this shopping center is a native beehive I've got to find. Our first job has got to be to look at the angle of the sun. I'm going to be looking at that and if the native bees will tell me where the hive is with scent marks. So as you can see here in this picture, I'm facing due west. To my left is south, to my right is north, and behind me is east. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. The first thing to look at is where the sun is casting its shadows and in the southern hemisphere it's on the right hand side. So this wall in front of me that cops all the morning sun, I doubt very much bees will be in there. And that's the other thing, not a tree to be seen so it's going to be either in a pit or it's either in a pit or in a wall and this wall here unlikely this pit down here also unlikely not even going to bother to look let's keep walking towards west as i said where the sun sets you will see a wall here on the left hand side or the southern side highly unlikely again native bees will be in there because too hot, it gets the sun all day, they would just bake and cook. This side of the complex is in the shade all the time and has actually got an awning. So the first job is walk down this side and see if there's any pits. That's holes in the ground, communication pits and whatever. So you can follow me on this. Also notice there's a step down here. I'm going to be walking on the side here looking down here as well both on this ledge and up here on the footpath. No pits there so more than likely if there's going to be any it might be here and I'm looking for now telltale, of tutain, telltale stain marks. So we just walk down here and have a quick look. I'll come back here if I don't find anything at the back. But I can't see any telltale stain marks. Oh, check my video on Hocking's eyes and scent marking the hives. You'll understand what I mean by that. As I walk down here, no pits. Uh, can't see any room here. And we're coming to the back of the hive. Oh, back of the hive, back of the uh, shopping center. Still nothing. So we get up to here and to my right or back to the north another shady area that holds prospects there's a back wall along the back I doubt it's going to be there because it cops the morning sun of interest is this carport as well that offers shade to that back wall as you can see there and then in the afternoon, remembering we're facing west, so this gets shade all day, that's a good likely spot. And also the back corner there. So we'll go over here first and have a quick 
uh, squares. I doubt along here will be any good because the westerly sun will heat this up. But I'll just try along here. It's just not favourable. This back wall is favourable, and I'll tell you why, because it's a hollow block wall. That's where they like to nest. Um, nothing there. So we'll go to that carport next. Just bear with me, you're getting this live. Cars and all, you're getting it. So we go along to this carport. And I've spotted something. Remember I talked about staining of the beehives? Well, look at this post. See all that dark colouring? That is staining. The bees have marked this to find their hive. I wonder if there's staining on the post further out. Oh, this goes right up. I bet you the hive's here. Oh shit, yeah, look at the back wall. See the dots? There's dots everywhere, stain marks. Look there, there. Oh, look at them here. I'll even zoom into this. Look at the stain marks, they're everywhere, they're on the fence. Oh, there's a hive here somewhere. Let's see if we can find, oh, <laughs> talk about the bleeding obvious. Here we go. Oops, wrong way. Hang on, let me get that right. Oh, hang on. Go zoom in first to show you, and then we'll go back. Hopefully that'll focus in. There's the beehive. Tiny little hole in the wall. Now, let's zoom back to show how difficult that's to spot without the telltale signs. Look at it. You wouldn't even see it there. I didn't see it there. But look at this from this angle. Look at the stain mark up the pole. Look at it. It's just everywhere. This is a classic sign. And this is what you look for. This is how you find the beehive. I'll show you more pictures of typical examples where you can find these things. But there you go. As simple as looking for stain marks. Once you find them, you find hives real easy.